Hi. <laughs> that was such a bad intro. I should redo that, but uh, I won't. Hey guys, welcome to the channel update for this week. You're probably wondering, like, why is there no spreadsheet up on the screen? Because I usually do spreadsheets each week. And uh, the reason for that is... I don't have a schedule this week. Um, I want to try a new thing out. I am going to be on schedules in the future, but this week I am just going to post... Oh my god, my chair is making a weird noise. I'm just going to post stuff when I feel like it. Um, not when I feel like it, but I'm... The thing is, like, I want to play a lot of new games. Like, I want to play everything that comes out, really. And when I set myself into... I'm going to post four videos a day. I'm going to post two videos a day. I'm going to post one video a day. It really doesn't... Let me just put my headphones off. Um, It really doesn't... You know, when I feel like I, I have a set schedule like that, I, I just don't enjoy it. And... By the way, I want to show off my Meat Boy shirt. I just had to show that off, sorry. It's my prized possession, man. Um, anyway, I got it with the the collector's edition for Meat Boy on the PC um, when it came out. But, for example, like, Pokemon came out there and it, you know, I'm posting like four or five, six episodes a day. And it's doing really well. And if you're watching that, if you're a new subscriber to the channel, I got like a thousand plus subscribers in a day because of Pokemon uh, Omega Ruby. So if you're new to the channel, thanks very much. Um... I do appreciate it, of course. Uh, I actually have my 3DS right here. I'm going to start recording some in a second. That's my setup. Look at the amount of cables coming out of that. Um, but I am going to be posting more in the future. Uh, just, <laughs> it's bad. Also, sorry my hair looks rather... I, I do this every vlog, don't I? But I had some gel in my hair earlier, and anyone who uses sort of hairspray or gel knows that once you go for a nap, it sort of goes crazy. So that's why. Um... But in relation to the the posting multiple videos today, it's kind of like, for me, I I don't want to be nailed in to these new releases. Um, you know, if a game comes out and I want to post three, four episodes a day, I don't see why not. Um, not only does it help me, because it's, you know, people searching for the game on YouTube have more to watch, but it also, uh, it also you know, it also helps me complete the game faster. Um, some people complain that I spam their sub box. I... I don't use my sub box, I don't know about you guys, but I don't use my sub box. All of my favorite channels I go to every day, and I check whether they have videos released, and I just pick what ones I like, and uh, I just haven't used my sub box in a few years, like, I don't know, sorry, I'm scratching my head again, I'm very self-conscious of myself when I'm doing these vlogs, even though I shouldn't be, but my hair is something that I just get annoyed at all the time, um, but, you know, that that's just the way I want to run my channel, um, I'm still going to be posting quite a lot of videos today, and, you know, I don't know, some days I'll post four, some days I'll post five, some days I'll post ten, who knows. Uh, as for this week, what's coming out, sorry, I just punched the mic, a lot of people have been asking me, what microphone is this? It's a Rode Podcaster, it cost me about £120, um, it's definitely one of the best USB mics I've used personally, and uh, I have a Rode Crane stand for it, so... That's what holds it. That what yeah. That is what holds it up. Uh, if you're wondering, um, tomorrow Geometry Wars Three is coming out, and I don't know how many of you guys have been following my channel since Call of Duty. You know when I posted Call of Duty originally. That's how my channel started. It has a Call of Duty channel. Um, but Geometry Wars Two was huge. Like we had this crowd of YouTube commentators in the Call of Duty scene, and basically we all battled each other all the time when Geometry Wars 2 evolved on the Xbox 360. Geometry Wars 3 is coming out. I'm going to be playing some. How, how much? I don't know, actually. Um, I'm going to be posting maybe two or three videos of it tomorrow and the next day. I'm not going to spam it, but uh, I'm hoping I can get like paused and good and everyone to start playing it, and then we can have a little competition to see who can get the best high score, because I think that would be awesome, just having each other on our friends lists and then looking to see who has the high score. So I'm going to try and convince them into that. I don't know if they'll accept or not, but it should be fun. Um, also coming out this week, I'm actually just looking at the list of new games uh, that are coming out this week. You know, there isn't actually that much games coming out from now to Christmas. Any any sort of games that have been released have already been released. That Captain Toad Treasure Tracker game looks good, actually, but I'm not sure when that's released in Europe. I don't know if I'm being held back. I think I actually am, because it's released in... Uh, let's see. It is released in North America, 5th of December, and released in Europe, 2nd of January. So, thanks, Nintendo. Um, yet again, again, I 
I love Nintendo, man. I'm going to be totally honest. Nintendo is probably my favorite game development company out there. Just all the games they produce, in my opinion, are great. You know, some of the best games out there. Looking forward to getting my hands on Smash Bros. But it just... I just feel like kind of... <laughs> like, I, I feel kind of unloved. Just because I live in Europe, you know, it, it kind of sucks. I understand production costs. You want to get games out before Christmas. But... Why not put it up in the eShop, you know? Why not put it up in the eShop? It's disappointing. I'm going to pick it up and play it. But it, for me, you know, as someone who likes playing these games when they come out, it, it kind of sucks. Um, and, of course, as uh, I've had this YouTube thing, is my job is playing games and creating entertainment through games. It's tough um, not to bring in new audiences. That's how you get the new... That's how I get my new audiences. I don't get it through collabs. I get it through posting new games. So, uh... All the sort of new viewers for Toad. I don't even know if there's a huge fan base for it, but I'm sure there will be. I'm assuming there'll be a lot of people interested. Will already have all of their sort of, you know, they'll have the game, they'll have beaten it by the time I even get it because the majority of my, the majority of YouTube traffic, I think, is from North America. Um, there's a lot from Europe, but I think North America is still winning on that one. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. What else we got? We got, we got uh, the crew coming out in the second. I don't know why they pick that up, man. It's, it's a Ubisoft published game, and Ubisoft have been getting quite a lot of flack lately, haven't they? Um, obviously, with Unity being brought out there, and... Eh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I might pick it up. I'm bored in December. Like, there really isn't anything uh, for me to do, but it, it looks interesting. It is a racing game, of course, and there's multiplayer in it, so uh, it is an open-world racing game, which is interesting. So I might pick that up. Um... Dead State is coming out, I guess, for PC. I haven't really looked into that too much, but um, it is being, you know, developed by former Obsidian uh, employees. Last time I heard, and uh, I've heard, I looked it up a little bit, you know, and uh, it's interesting. It looks interesting. It's a zombie game. Um, it has been in early access, and people have said it's decent. So I might pick it up. Who knows if I'm bored? I might. I want to start streaming a lot, a lot of games, but. It's tough when you're doing so much content. Um, sorry if I'm not looking at the camera, guys. My camera's up top and my screen's down below. Uh, a few more questions that people have been writing in. Am I going to be doing Minecraft? Where is the Minecraft? I'm actually really enjoying myself taking a little break from Minecraft because uh, it was just dull for me. And I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like sort of itching to play it, to be honest. But... I don't want to rush back because I know if I rush back, I'm just going to be done with it in like a week. And I kind of don't want that to happen. I want to I want to post it, but I don't want to go back and do it for a day, you know. I want to do it for you know, consistently. So I'm thinking of starting to ease back into it. Do, um, doing some cool labs and stuff because I know a lot of people are on it now. And uh, my hair's doing that again, guys. Sorry, 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 sorry. I do it all the time. I should just get my hair cut, shouldn't I? Um, I have a really bad receding hairline though, so I don't know. I want to just savor my hair while it lasts because I can see myself potentially losing my hair at quite a young age. Um, but anyway, the I, I, I might pick it up. No, sorry, not pick up. I might go and play it again. Like I'm definitely going to be on the Minecraft server in the future. It's just that I'm taking a break. And the first thing I'm doing when I get on that server, by the way, is blowing up my house. I don't care. It's just, it's just annoying me a bit, like my hair, to be honest. But the house is just like everything I own on that server. I just want to blow it up. Blowing it up and just moving away. I want a fresh start and I just don't want to force myself in it. And when it does come back, it isn't going to be, you know, heavily edited. I'm just putting that out there. It's going to be me doing stupid things, small projects, and just derping around, you know, with people. Um, so that's it. That's what I'm going to be doing for that. Um, another announcement I want to make. After I'm finished Pokemon Omega Ruby, I will be doing uh, Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. But you're probably saying, it's the same game, you know. And yeah, it is. But I'm going to be doing a Wonderlock again, which is basically every Pokemon I catch, I have to trade and use whatever Pokemon that is. And I'm going to be putting a set of rules in place where the game is really difficult. Like, really, really difficult. Because right now, the game's way too easy. Like, man, it's the easiest Pokemon game yet. I have not done any extra leveling um, I've skipped loads of trainers. The XP, sure, I need to turn it off, but at the same time, I'm kind of thinking, most people watching it just want to watch it to get through the game. They don't want to watch it for a challenge, you know? So, the challenge will come when I do my Wonderlock. So, I'm saving for that. Um, 
Rebirth, Binding of Isaac again. Um, I'm going to put that up maybe once a day. If I'm feeling it twice a day, people seem to be still enjoying that, and I still am. I still haven't beaten Mega Satan yet, so I want to do that. My voice went really high. <laughs> um, so that's the plan for that. Anything else that I want to discuss? Let me just check the games list. The games list. I have to go back to the dentist on Tuesday, guys, um, to get a checkup. But I might have to get another tooth removed. Yay for me being an idiot when I was younger. Man, I was looking back at some of my really old Twitter and Facebook posts. And you don't realize how much of an idiot you are until... Like, it, 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 it astounds me. It really does how different of a person I am from 18 to 21. And I know that I'm going to be a completely different person from... 21 to 24 you know it's it's just the way of life you look back and you think to yourself you know <laughs> you had a lot to learn and i do i definitely do um i said some really really pretty immature things online like i used to i used to think swearing was cool like every single tweet i tweeted had a swear word in it i'm kind of thinking like what the hell so you know it is what it is i mean that that is who i am i can't really be ashamed of it but i i definitely think i am a completely different person nowadays like i rarely swear and I used to think swearing was cool for an emphasis, but the reason I don't swear nowadays is because swearing is kind of a... As much as you don't want to admit it, swearing is kind of associated with anger and uh, has more of a negative tone than it does a positive. And for me, I kind of think there's already enough negativity in the world, so I really don't want to contribute to it. And I know it's just a small thing, like a swear word. And I, of course, I'll swear occasionally. Like, I'll do it in a joking way. Like, if I get hit by a blue shell, I'll be like, oh shit you know but i won't swear to be cool so to speak or just swear to make my point emphasized i think that's for me i just not me anymore anyway um anything else that i want to talk about i can't i, I had a, i really should write up a list um i was gonna buy ps4 this christmas but i'm not sure i, I, <laughs> I want to hold off until there's something like I want to buy coming up, and I know Little Big Planet was released, but I've really, I haven't really ever get into the Little Big Planet games. Um, I know Far Cry Four was released, and as I sit here, I have Far Cry One to Three sitting in my library of games, and I haven't played them before. Um, and I probably should play those ones, but whatever. Um, maybe I'll get around to it one day. I probably should do like this weekly, sh yeah, I, I, <laughs> a week long stream of me streaming like twelve hours a day playing all those games. Um, there's also, uh, where is it? What date is it today? It is the 24th. So, I said Jarman Jiros was coming out. Um, there's a game that I wanted to play on iOS, actually. I don't know if I'll put it up on the channel, but it's, uh, called Framed. And I saw Hideo Kojima, uh, tweet about it on Twitter. And that's how I get interested in it. And I, I looked it up and saw the game dev on Twitter and stuff, and seems like a pretty good guy, and the game actually is getting pretty awesome reviews, you know. It's on iOS, though. I have an iPod Mini that I can stream through AirPlay in my MacBook and probably screen cap that, but I'm not sure. It's a very short one. Uh, it's like $5. It might be good for a small series. Um, if you guys have played it, let me know. Please don't spoil it, of course. Uh, I mean, if you do spoil it, you're getting banned from my channel. <laughs> Simple enough. Um, I don't like spoilers for story-based games. I don't know if it's story-based, but I just... I'm very, you know, why would you do that? Why would you put, why would you put that out there? You know, you're just negatively influencing someone um, for no reason. But I think that's it, guys. Sorry for dragging on this one so much. Let me know what you think about the vlogs. Like, should I do one a week? Uh, should I just scrap the channel update and just talk about what I'm going to be doing this week? As for my upload times, I do try and, I look at my analytics and I base my upload times based on peak viewing hours. So if you go into the YouTube analytics, you can actually see what times people are viewing your videos at. They have a new feature called Real Time, which lets you see the past 48 hours of views. So for me, most of my views seem to be coming like evening, late evening UK time, like 8, 9 p.m., 10 p.m., 11 p.m., um, and then into the early hours of the morning because most of my viewers are from North America. Um, so let me know what be time best suits you. And as for the sub box spam, actually... Let me just touch on this last topic. I know I have went on for way too long here, but I went through like a, <laughs> I went through like a week there with people unsubscribing. I mean, like literally every day was losing subscriptions. And then uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare came out. I gained about 300 subs. 
and then people unsubscribed for another two weeks and then today and the pokemon like i've i've literally gained all of those lost subs back in three days from pokemon um and i kind of like i'm happy about that I'm, I'm actually really you think how can you be happy about losing subs but the thing is guys like i have never based this channel around one game and i like if, if i if you're here for one game that's fair enough. Like, I don't mind. Pick and choose. I don't expect you as a subscriber to watch everything I put out, okay? I just don't expect you to do that. I think that's very naive of me. And that's very selfish of me to expect you to watch the six videos I put out a day. If you're here, I understand people are going to pick their favorites. Completely fine with me. But I'm kind of glad, you know, those people who are unsubscribing are unsubscribing. I don't want to put videos out that those guys don't like. I don't want them guys to watch videos that they don't like. So it's, it's a win-win for both, man. You know, it, and it gets kind of depressing seeing people unsubscribe, but at the same time, um, subscriptions don't really matter. Views matter, don't they? And right now, I'm really happy on my channel. It's been a bit of a struggle um, getting for me. Like I would, I, my channel has always been hovering around a million views a month. Uh, if you go on my social blade, you can check that. You can check, you know, how many views people are getting in a month. Um, and my goal in the next six months is if I can to get two million. 2 million average each month. I hit 2 million two months ago in summer. Now, summer is peak period. I mean, I watch a crap load of YouTube videos in summer because I have nothing else to do. So, we'll see, guys. We'll see. Anyway, my brother just came in from work. I'm going to end this vlog before he comes in and says something stupid. <laughs> so, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye.